was in a relationship with somebody and obviously it came to a rough end. The only option I had was to go out onto the streets. I didn't really have anywhere that I could go and stay. I slept in a park on a ramp. I only had my jacket, so yeah, it was, it was pretty cold. My first night out on the streets was just, how did this happen? Why am I here? Why is this happening? This year, Chris became 28 and homeless. When his relationship broke down, he left home with no job and nowhere to go. You never imagine it. You never wake up in the morning and think, yep, today I'm going to be homeless. It never happens. You never wake up thinking it, and you always think you're the last person that it could happen to in that sense. But this situation showed me that it can happen to anybody. And how did that make you feel when it happened to you? Not good. You feel like just ducking into a little hole and just not coming out for a little while. So you're the youngest by far. After walking the streets well, I, for weeks, I, I Chris found charity the old, Shelter from the Storm. The warehouse in London provides emergency beds for 44 homeless people a night. Since coming here, Chris has qualified as a carpenter and has now moved into his own home. I find a sense of community in this place. I'd like to think that my future from now is positive, is a bright one. There aren't going to be any more downfalls. The night shelter has helped over a quarter of the homeless people here get jobs. Like 40-year-old Joanna, originally from Poland. When her hours were cut at work, she couldn't afford her rent. The landlord changed the locks. With no family here, she now lives at the shelter and gets up at 5 a.m. every day to work in a sandwich shop. What do you think people think when they think of a homeless person? Uh, they think usually they, but that uh, the homeless uh, people are uh, alcoholics and uh, have uh, problems with drugs and uh, they are uh, not working. Joanna is now saving for a deposit and hopes her dream of having her own place isn't too far away, while Chris volunteers to help other homeless people. And how are you feeling now? Uh, brilliant. I'm happy. I'm brilliant. At the end of the day, I said I came back, come back every, every single day I come back. And if I can do something, I can. I can. And if I can't, I'm just here to, to be nice and smile and be pretty. The people I spoke to here may have lost everything, but they haven't lost hope. While they may be homeless, for now, this is home. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.